Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Solomon Jagwe. I am back with a follow-up uh, tutorial that I, I said I would uh, do after, I think it was after, there's a video that I uploaded about the Perception Neuron Studio data. And one of those things that I'd wanted to test was uh, going up and down the steps, okay? So here, you know, let's just do a quick test to see how this mock-up data is affecting this character. It has some cloth uh, dynamics on it. So I'm going to bring up my motion live. And we're going to enable uh, the perception neuron. Okay. And we're going to click on preview. And press spacebar. Okay. So here's our character in iClone. Yep. Spacebar again. Sorry. Uh, preview spacebar okay all right there's our character and you can see the cloth dynamics working on the hair right there looks great so again um one of those things that have i'm always on a quest to test is uh you know how well how good the data is working and in this instance right now we're just doing the default this is a by the way this is demo content that's just as a disclaimer i don't own the perception neuron studio suit yet I am looking forward to it. <laughs> when I do get it, I'm going to make sure I share uh, my impressions and the results from it. But um, the reason why I'm doing this test is because uh, I love the data and how clean it is from the Perception Neuron Studio. And one of the things that I've been uh, I've struggled with in the past with the Perception Neuron 2.0 and the Perception Neuron Pro version was being able to go up and down the steps. Okay, so I'm going to load the file. Uh, from studio perception neuron studio showing how the character is going up and down the steps and this is what this is the updated software so they did something awesome behind the scenes in the software and let's uh, take a look at it i'm guess i'm just going to double click it. it's off the screen right now so climbing stairs and there it is i'm gonna loop it and i'm gonna press uh, play so here's a character going up the steps and actually let me track this one so you can see how high the character goes. And I'm not going to move the camera yet in iClone, but that's how far the character can go. And look at the data right now. Look how clean it is. Like every time the character plants a foot on the steps, you can see it over here as well. So that's what's real. And once it gets to the ground, the feet stay on the ground okay so let's gonna i'm gonna let it play again so you can actually see it here goes up and i'm gonna adjust so you can see the horizon line up and there she goes all the way <laughs> off the screen so this is very very good data so that's why in i'm looking forward to using the perception neuron studio suit and testing out myself because I mean from the data that I'm looking at right now it looks very very impressive so anyone who's been wondering you know can you do going up and down the steps on a perception neuron studio uh, from this data you can definitely tell that it's doing it and I'm gonna let it loop one more time so we can see up she goes the feet look very stable and you can see on this side the mock-up data and we can track it while we look in iClone over here so there she goes all the way to the top and then coming back down so that's what's really cool and considering this is an inertia based uh, suit motion capture suit i think that's commendable highly commendable so well done guys <laughs> noitom guys Thank you so much for sharing this data so that we can take a look at it. And I'm going to continue sharing more tests that are as I work on it. And I can't wait to test the actual suit itself and see how well it does like in a real life environment. But uh, from what I can see, this is uh, clean. This is very good. And the character is able to come back to the ground. We'll let it do it one more time and track it. There she goes, 
comes back and I want to see the feet once she gets to the ground. There we go. So thank you so much, guys. Again, this was just a quick test of the Perception Neuron Studio data uh, going up and down the steps, which looks very clean and improved. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, so you can be notified when I post a new video. I have some really cool testing that is coming up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see some of the new uh, videos that I've been creating. I'm excited. Thank you. So, I mean, guys, I mean, it's awesome to be alive now as an artist and as a, a filmmaker. These tools make it possible for us to tell our stories. And uh, since we don't have big, you know, uh, teams, animation teams that we can rely on, uh, one of the best things we can do is rely on tools like this to do that, like motion capture, to get your idea out there. So please don't, if you are able to afford this suit or if you're thinking about telling a story, consider looking into using motion capture to get your idea out there and then when you get fully funded then you can uh, afford to pay animators who can do a much better job but this is a good way as a filmmaker as a storyteller for you to try out your idea create your short film pitch it to netflix or uh, disney plus or whatever or hulu well that's disney <laughs> but the world is open for us to be able to test this so i encourage you please dare to dream big don't give up on your idea especially in this time of the pandemic i know it's been a tough time as creatives but there are tools that are coming on the market uh, that are making it easier and easier for us to tell our stories so i encourage you to never give up uh, please again don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell see you next time thank you very much